Okay, I want to talk about the best features of the microbe electrifier. On the page about it, if you scroll down, it lists them. Number one being the current indicator, which is this red light right here. And I consider that an essential part of it because it tells you when you're getting enough current. The uh, competitor's uh, devices do not tell you what, what amount of current you're getting. It's just a big guessing game. So most people turn it up all the way to the max, and maybe the max is too much, or maybe the max is not enough. You don't know. You have no idea. So, um, like I said, I, I consider this an essential uh, feature. Okay, uh, next up is the frequency selector. Beck's original frequency was 4 Hertz, but he said the, the effect was not really frequency de dependent. And um, I experimented over the years with different frequencies and I settled on 10 Hertz and 40 Hertz. 10 Hertz has an additional effect of being calming on the nervous system. And if uh, you're taking a lot of uh, heavy-duty uh, drugs, I would recommend 40 hertz because that has the absolute least amount of transfection. If you look at the uh, transfection graph, um, this scale in this direction is frequency and in this direction is amount of transfection. Transfection being the amount of of uh, chemicals that, that the cells will absorb into them when exposed to electricity. So you can see the higher the frequency, the lower the transfection. Uh, this curve out here is for a square wave. So you go from 20,000 uh, as the amount of transfection at 4 hertz to 400 at 10 hertz and to 80 at 40 hertz so that's a nice feature I always use 10 hertz I find all these frequencies pretty much equally effective so why would you expose your blood uh, to 4 hertz which is a little bit uh, harsher on it than the higher frequencies the electrode selection uh, that is probably the the biggest thing that uh, separates my device from the others and that is that I recommend putting the electrodes on the two wrists which is what Beck did to get his success stories that are on the the two ankles when you do that the electricity flows in these arteries out here it does not not go down into the heart so it's, it's absolutely safe for the heart and uh, what happens if you place the two electrodes on one wrist is the current shorts out across it. In my measurements, it, it was about 40% of the current shorts across it. So if you're going wrist to wrist, you only need 0.14 milliamps uh, to get the minimal amount needed. But if you go with both of them on one wrist, you have to use 0.23 milliamps to get the, the minimal amount of 0.14 in this artery right here but when you do that a lot of it just goes right in this path right here so you're not really uh, affecting a lot of blood either if you go here you're affecting a fair amount of blood if you go from ankle to ankle you're affecting even more amount of blood because these arteries are really huge down here so uh, definitely uh, wrist to wrist or ankle to ankle is the way to go. It's just a little bit hard to find the right placement on the ankles though because it's not obvious where the arteries are there and they it kind of varies from person to person. So uh, last but not least is the damped wave option. There's a switch on the device that says 
DW and SW. DW stands for damped wave and SW stands for square wave. A damped wave is um, modified that modification basically takes the squareness off of the transition between one polarity and the other because what the device is doing is switching polarity uh, so many times per second and each time it switches polarity you get a spike of current and so by uh, including a capacitor across the output circuit when you select the DW option uh, it the capacitor absorbs a lot of that that spike of current so it doesn't go through your blood uh, a very little bit of that is helpful because it's a more uh, it has a more uh, damaging effect to the microbes but uh, as much as what you get without damped wave is not really is not really helpful so especially people that are sensitive to current it's it's actually the spike that they're feeling not the the uh, leveled out amount of current so for someone that's uh, that's uh, using the device a lot or is sensitive to current the damp wave option is very good so that pretty much sums it all up right there I really do think my device is the best on the market and it has competitive pricing so why not thanks for watching take care